The overall goal of this procedure is to convert a cell phone camera to a fluorescent microscopy platform or a fluorescent imaging cytometer. First, the fluorescent emission is collected through an attached lens that has been placed between the cell phone camera unit and the sample of interest. Next, a simple plastic filter within the attachment rejects the scattered excitation light, which creates a dark field background for fluorescent imaging, converting the camera phone into a fluorescent microscope or imaging cytometer. In the final step, a picture or video is taken of the fluorescent particles of interest using the camera in night mode. Ultimately, fluorescent beads or cells can be imaged and characterized by the cell phone camera. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods, like using conventional forensic microscope, is that cell phone-based microscope is compact, lightweight, and cost-effective and has potential for use in point-of-care diagnostics at resource-limited settings where conventional health care services are not available. To assemble the optofluidic wide-field fluorescent microscope, begin by placing the plano-convex lens into the optical attachment within its specific lens holder position. Then place the plastic filter onto the filter tray and slide it into the attachment. Next, insert the LED tray into the attachment. Place the sample glass slides into the sample tray and then slide the sample tray into the attachment. After facing the LEDs toward the sample, clip the assembled optofluidic wide-field fluorescent microscopy attachment onto the cell phone such that the extra lens is directly in touch with the cell phone camera lens.